At this time, I'd like to welcome to the podium our selected valedictorian speaker, Mark Kim. Wow. Uh, I didn't notice many of you were coming. I'm speechless. Just kidding, it's right here. That one was for the dads. We love you. All right, let's start. Good afternoon, administrators, faculty, staff, parents, teachers, and relatives. Thanks for coming. And of course, congratulations to the class of 2016. I have never given a speech before. And if you ever were, or currently are, a nerd like me, you probably understand why. So when they asked me to prepare a graduation speech, I did my homework, and I meticulously analyzed every commencement speech given since the beginning of time. Here's what I've learned in the past 72 hours. First, apparently, if you want to be memorable, you have to streak naked. At any point in this speech, if you would like, I will start removing my clothing. I'm getting a consensus here that no one wants to see my poor, skinny body, so that's not happening. All right, uh, I lost my spot. Oh, let's get back to the deep stuff. Nobody has the secret formula to conjure up wealth, happiness, or success. At least, not all at once. In fact, a lot of people will disagree on this. Uh, one person will say to shoot for the moon, and even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. And another will desperately plead you to please stop using cliches to describe the quote-unquote real world, because what do you, as an 18-year-old kid, really know? And after listening to pretty much every successful person ever, from Steve Jobs to Conan O'Brien, I realize that I don't laugh. I realize that I have a lot to learn and even more to do. But I also like to think that at some point, President Obama was on BuzzFeed looking at the eight simple steps to writing a great speech. You'll never guess what number five is. Or before inventing Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg was Googling, how do I make friends? I know I have. Bill Gates, of course, binged it. The point I'm trying to make, oh, no one got that one? Okay. The point I'm trying to make is that anyone who became a somebody started somewhere as a nobody, doing nobody things that nobody cared that much about. And for all of us, that starting point is here. Uh, I know it's a bit paradoxical and really cliche for me to say now, Supposedly at the end of our high school careers is a new beginning. But Los Sal has never been about endings. No, we've had swag for four years. It never ends. But as Dr. Kropp said before, the motto for the Los Sal School District is actually igniting unlimited possibilities. That means that for every person here, Los Sal was just the first step in a long journey the first movie in an epic saga, or the first badge of a Pokemon game. I'm so proud of that reference. I'm sure that none of us are planning on going home, hanging up our high school diplomas, and settling into an early retirement, having decided we had reached the apex of our existence. No, we're here to take advantage of those possibilities. 
And even for a class as large as this, there's enough futures to go around. Of course, this isn't without its difficulties. The reality of unlimited possibilities is that unlimited isn't good or bad. It's both. This means that with every success, there's bound to be losses. Uh, there's this great quote on the internet that says, the reason we struggle with insecurity is because we compare our behind the scenes with everyone else's highlight reel. We will all struggle. We will all trip and tumble and fall. We want to walk into a future of our brightest days and our highlight reel moments, but those days will be balanced with our worst failures. Someone once told me that the keys to success are toughness and hunger. But when it gets tough and failure knocks us to the ground, I know we can drive forward. We will drive forward, knowing that we may fail, but secure in the knowledge that if we do, it won't be for lack of trying. We are leaving Mosul tough and hungry. We are here, ready to drive forward and let the chips fall where they may. Then, years from now, some of us will be the ones invited to give speeches that are way better than this one, that share the wisdom of earned success. And some of us will finally change the world, because enough people have said they will, and apparently an equal amount have done, done it already. But even more so, all of us will forever be connected in that we started here at Low South, where our four years ended and our futures began. Thank you, congratulations to the class of 2016, and may the force be with you.